No, it's been fine. I've got good communication. We, with Roy, we, we spoke at length yesterday on the on the situation. And then, like what I said to, to him, you know, every, every individual player you have to look at, every player is different. Um, I respect that he obviously has work to do internationally, but for me, my my thoughts are for the Liverpool players and what their needs are. So, uh, do you know what we were? We had agreed that it was probably too soon for for Daniel to to meet up with with England, irrespective of he was involved this weekend or not. So uh, he hasn't trained with the team at all since uh, since his injury with them, and uh, it probably is as it wasn't the right time for him to go. So it was it was amicable. There was no there was no issue. Just to clarify, is he okay for the weekend? Or? We will have to wait and see. With Mario, there's been obviously a lot of attention on him. Uh, one goal so far, the failure to, to clap the fans last night. What would you say about his behaviour, his attitude and his contribution so far? I think in terms of his, his behaviour since he's come into here, into the training, I think the boys, he's consciously trying to work hard at the, the aspects of the game of which we would demand here at Liverpool in terms of his intensity and his and that work rate. I think in terms of goals, and uh, he needs to improve. I think it's as simple as that. I think it's, you know, as a striker, not just him, but any striker, attacking player, you're judged on your goals and your games. And, uh, and obviously the number of assists that you make. And of course at this moment, uh, he hasn't probably hit the numbers that he would want to. So, uh, and that's something that over the course of the team, really, I think it's the, the function of the team. We need to return to being a team in terms of that's brought us the success over the last 18 months or so and in terms of the developments that we've made we've been selfless in our work for each other and, uh, and I think at the minute it's probably which is natural when confidence is maybe low a little bit low in the team uh, it, become, it can become more about the individual but it's, that isn't what we're about and this club is about this is about uh, the, the whole function of the team and when we work to that principle, that's when we're at our best. So with that in mind, is it down to him that he didn't have any touches in the opposition's penalty area last night, or is that down to the team dynamic? Yeah, it's down to the, it's down to the team. It's, it probably is a little bit of both. You know, you've got to get yourself into those areas. Now, I always encourage all the strikers to get into the, you know, into the framework of the goal um, for white players when they come in, to get into that framework of the goal and, and go and break the lines to get in so but I think it was a, a bit of both really it was one it was about the service arriving in you know our quality last night in that final third of the pitch wasn't to the standard and uh, and obviously you have to be able to make and create goals yourself as a as a front player and obviously he never he didn't do that but we we win and lose as a team and, and last night the, the team wasn't good enough on reflection, Brendan, you captain's comments, Stephen Gerrard after the game said that he thought the team was too soft and that Basel wanted it more. What, what was your reaction to hearing him say that? Well, no, it was absolutely... It, it echoed what I'd said after the game. I never normally say too much after a game, if anything at all, uh, because it's normally always a difficult moment for a player and sometimes, as I said, when they've lost. Uh, but it was my words afterwards. And I think he echoed that in his interview. So uh, it was it was soft. We weren't aggressive enough as a, a team. And um, as I said, the, the goal that we conceded was a, a very disappointing goal, uh, and something that you know we need to study more, we need to analyse more in terms of to find ways in which to be better. On to West Brom this weekend. What have you made to the start that they've had this season under a new manager? Yeah, well, Alan's someone I know reasonably well. He's a good guy, been around, you know, a long time in terms of coaching. Very good man. Um, and as I said, he's he's obviously going into a new club, and and his last two results have been excellent. They obviously, had a very good win away at, at Tottenham, and obviously they, they looked very good once they got the first goal uh, against uh, against Burnley. So, uh, so we know it'll be a tough game for us. Uh, Alan have them very well organised and, and they get some good players so uh, but we expect you know when we're at home to be to be on the front foot in any game and look to win and that'll be the objective for this weekend.
Your first Premier League game when you came here to Liverpool was against West Brom. How, how does the task that you had back then compare to the task that you've got now in terms of improving what's going on at Liverpool? Well, the similarities in terms of it feels like a new group again, obviously with the injection of so many players, which we did need. Um, but um, And obviously we, we've maybe had to put one or two of them in much quicker than what we would have wanted because of injuries to other players. Um, but listen, we, we, I'm not here to whine or complain about injuries. We, we just need to get on with, with working hard. Uh, we need to, as I said, go back to the core principle of what our you know, good play and, and performances and wins have been about, which is about the team. Everyone focus in on that. And uh, as I said, the, the job now, similar to then in terms of we have to integrate all of that to make winning performances. I know you don't want to complain about injuries, but who else is available or not available at the weekend from what you've had? At this moment in time, there's no one new to, to come back into the squad. Thank you. I was just wondering, Brendan, going back up to the England situation, what Daniel's view of the whole situation is of, of, with him in England and you? I'm not sure. I'm not sure. Have right. you not no. you've had, have you spoken to no, him? No, not really, no. Not really, my focus is on Liverpool. <laughs> It's not in England. So I spoke to him about being available for Liverpool. I can't even can think about England when he's not ready to play for Liverpool. He's had a grade one injury now for near on four weeks, which is a long time. And my focus is now getting him to, to play for Liverpool. I think once he's available for Liverpool then uh, and playing and, and showing that level of fitness, I'm sure Roy will then look at him and I said, uh, bring him into the squad. You've spoken as well about Raheem Sterling and not trying, not wanting to, to burn him out as well. Um, were those discussions, did those discussions with Roy that you had yesterday include perhaps you know the, the possibility of resting Raheem with these international games coming up? No. Is that? It's with the players that we have. I think once I get the, the injured players back, it gives me more flexibility. I think the, the idea at this moment is to keep it as simple as we can for the players uh, so that the team can be as cohesive as it possibly can be at this moment. I think once I get other players back that can play and adapt to, to a number of positions that makes it a bit more flexible for me. How long will Joe Allen be and has his absence kind of proven his worth to the team? I think in this period it certainly has. I think that he's a player that never gets mentioned very rarely and but he's a player that very rarely turns over the ball. He always loves the football he goes he gets other people playing. And the, the key feature for Joe also on top of that is his intensity and his pressure. He presses the game really well. He's a very intelligent footballer tactically. He's outstanding in the game. And I think we've really missed his energy and his quality since he's been out injured. So, uh, so he'll be back after the international breaks too soon this weekend. Uh, but uh, hopefully, as I said, he'll be back uh, for the QPR game. No, I don't think the same thing will happen again. I think that, uh, not from the, the conversations with Roy, they'll obviously look at that. You know, I understand Roy's position where he's only got a few days to work with players, and he'll probably take away that maybe that intensity that on that second day is something that you can't do. But you can still work players. You know, we work players here on the second day, um, but it has to be tapered to the individual need of the player. So, um, so as I said, I, I don't think we'll see that situation again. Would you say that the club mental staff and England mental staff see definitely an odds each other in terms of how we should be dealt with them? And who, and who would you it's not something to discuss now. Just, just fine for me, in terms of um, struggling to form, integrating new players, struggling 
defend the goals and uh, conceding and um, conceding goals. Um, is this the biggest challenge you've had? Do you think as a manager in terms of what lies ahead in the next few weeks and months? No, not really. Not really. It's an exciting challenge. This is still an incredible job. There's nothing changed. Yeah, the first six months was difficult here. Then for 18 months, we've been on a magic carpet ride right, in terms of our performance level and everything improving. And it's been fantastic. Um, there was big change here in the summer, and uh, and we lost a world class player. We had to improve the squad. We're bringing in a number of players, and obviously, unfortunately for us, we've lost a number of our key players. Um, so, unfortunately, it brings us into a little period of transition again. Ideally, the, for me, it would have been the case of keeping the, the squad that we had and then adding a few bodies to that to, to pad it up and thicken up the squad. Um, but it wasn't the case. We, we obviously, as I said, we, we lost a player, um, unfortunately, but we, we've gone into a little bit of transition again. So, uh, But it, it's something that was difficult in the first few months when I got here. Uh, but I think the beauty of that period is that we see there was, uh, as I said, the vision and, and the ideas that came out the other side of that. You have to get through some pain along the way. Uh, and for us, certainly this moment, we are in a difficult moment. We're not nowhere near what we've been. Uh, but that's that's a great challenge for myself and, and the players. You know, we'll, we'll look at it even harder, analyse it more, but just ensure that we keep it simple and, and just ensure that we keep to the values and, and ethics of this team which is about hard work and honesty and, and as I said uh, concentrating on our performance.